where's the tie? What did man, I look, tell you about showing up without man, look, a tie? What look, did I tell, tell you about that? Listen, let me, let me sitting talk. in my hold seat. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sitting in let my seat. Let me tell you something seat. right now. Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something right now. I'm not in the, the, I'm not, I'm what, not in the what, mood what? for your foolishness today. All right? Don't play with the big fella because I'm not in the mood. You lucky you're not in the studio. What you going to do about it? Why you acting like you're going to do something? I see you not in the studio right now. Why you acting like you're going to do something? You talking about this whole HBCU week. You didn't want to come up here and show up to me. So, like I said, don't play with me right now. Let's get this. Ooh. All right. Ooh, I'll deal with you later. I'll okay. deal with you later. Ooh. I think it's time He's to so go. ahead. Man. sitting in my seat talking. Oh, I, that, you want me to go first, Molly? You want me to go it's first? It's real comfortable. Yes, can I, I do. Can I lean back Stephen on it? Stephen A., who's under more pressure, Just... Lamar Jackson or Patrick Mahomes this weekend? It's a trick question. It actually makes me laugh. Let me get this straight. Patrick Mahomes, who threw for 5,000 yards, one league MVP, Fresh off an AFC Championship game appearance. He got something to prove against Lamar Jackson, who, by the way, the last time we saw him against a decent team, went three quarters and two minutes, completing just three passes and throwing for 25 yards. Let's pump the brakes here. I love what I'm seeing from Lamar Jackson. It's incredibly impressive. Seven touchdowns, completing 71% of his passes. I get all of that. Ladies and gentlemen, his first two games were against the Miami Dolphins. Who, by the way, some, some some damn college Division II teams probably could beat right now. And the Arizona Cardinals, led by a rookie head coach and a rookie, the number one overall pick in Kyle Murray. As far as I'm concerned, this is your first real test. The person that has something to prove is clearly Lamar Jackson, because as far as I'm concerned, he hasn't had an NFL game yet. Not to <laughs> completely disrespect Arizona, because I understand they're decent, they tie with Detroit came back and then obviously gave the Ravens a game last week. But they ain't ready yet. They're not there. And don't get me started with the Miami Dolphins. Uh -huh. This is the first real test yeah. for Lamar Jackson this we season. We all do it. Of course it's Lamar Jackson. We all do it. We all do it. If you don't have the answer to the question, just answer your a different question. We're not talking about who has more to prove, Stephen A. You're right, Lamar more Jackson's pressure. got more to prove. More pressure. I'm Who sorry. <laughs> right. More pressure. Because, right, because you're 100% right. right. Lamar's got more to prove, and as a result, Patrick Mahomes is facing more pressure. Look, Mahomes doesn't have a defense. Lamar Jackson does. I know they're missing some guys from last year, but the Ravens still have a defense. Ravens always have a defense. Lamar Jackson does not have to do as much as Patrick Mahomes. Like, if Patrick Mahomes ain't going, that team ain't going, period. Of course Mahomes faces more pressure. He's the reigning and defending league MVP. He came one pre-snap penalty away last year from representing the AFC in the Super Bowl. I know he's not technically a rookie, but I'm going to call him a rookie because it was his first season under center. As in his first year as a starter, he throws 50 touchdown passes, leads to the most dynamic offense in the world. And by the way, in my view, the way he's picked up this year where he left off, is establishing himself as the best player in football. Let me say that a different way. The most valuable player in sports. He's a quarterback. He's a baby. And he's already the best player in the biggest league. Who's fa and, and by the way, that guy doesn't have a defense. So who's facing more pressure, him or the dude who, even if he regressed a little, would be like, well, Lamar's still doing good. You know, he, he, you know, he had one bad game or one game where he wasn't as good as the first two, but still better than we thought he'd be at this point. Of course Mahomes is facing more pressure. Well, listen, I mean, Patrick Mahomes in his first year starting won the league MVP. So the bar is already so high for Patrick Mahomes. The only place you can, like, really go – is you start going down. So he has to turn in performances week after week after week to continue to validate why most people would say he's the best quarterback in the National Football League. Now, as, as we talk about this matchup and moving forward, the reason the pressure is more so on Patrick Mahomes is because I think it's going to be critical for the Kansas City Chiefs to get home field advantage. Really, because the only team that I think in the AFC that you really, that, that you really have to worry about is the New England Patriots. We all know playing in Foxborough later in the year is a, to is a totally different mon uh, monster than going out and playing, in Kansas, and playing uh, in Kansas City. Remember, Max, you already pointed it out. They were one pre-snap penalty away from being in the Super Bowl. Well, okay, that's in Kansas City. You go out in Foxborough, it's, all, it's next to impossible to win out there. So if you're Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, you need, to, you need to keep winning. Well, let me keep ask you a question. But, go ahead. Let me... Let, 
Dan, Dan, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. We've seen Kansas City, led by Mahomes, have a high-powered offense, no, yep. no matter where they are, correct? No matter where they are, correct? Yeah. Wouldn't yeah. you concede? Wouldn't you concede that as tough as the Ravens are, they're even more tougher in Baltimore than they are on the road? They're pretty. They're pretty doggone tough. No question about it. So, 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 so what? Pretty, so what tough, I'm saying is, tough. then who needs? Then, 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 then who needs? Who needs home playoff games more? Kansas City or Baltimore? <clears throat> Listen, Baltimore, I, but Kansas City's aiming words. higher. I've seen. I've seen Baltimore going to Foxborough and win. I've seen. I've seen. So that. have I. But I said I, who needs? I'm just talking I've about this. Team. I know that. Baltimore but I'm talking might about this the, team. My, Baltimore this might team. be the one. Baltimore Who needs might be the more? one team in the AFC that's not scared to go into Foxborough. The one team. Okay? Well, I know no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not disputing that. I'm asking okay. the question based on how they're, com they're composed, the, the, you know, how the hell they're compiled. Who do you believe needs home field more than, each, more than the other? I think Baltimore needs it more than Kansas City. Yeah, look, look. The pressure right now is more on Mahomes. Stephen A., if you ask that question again. I disagree. In the playoffs, it may shift to Lamar Jackson because of the way he looked in last year's playoffs, like a deer in headlights. If Lamar Jackson gets it together and adjusts to the playoffs and balls out, now what's stopping the Ravens from winning the Super Bowl? So if you ask this question in the playoffs, That's fine, true. I might go with Lamar Jackson. But right now, for Matt, the reasons that Damian and I uh, said, Hold on. Uh, Max it's, and it's Damian, Mahomes. I, I got to get in here for one second. Mm -hmm. and I know what side Stephen A's on. You're going to tell me Patrick Mahomes, who took the league by storm, he showed us his potential, he showed us what type of quarterback he is, is under more pressure than Lamar Jackson, with what you just alluded to, we thought couldn't play quarterback, was a glorified running back against San Diego and has shown us one real game as a quarterback. And he's Ooh. under more pressure. Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.